So if you saw the title of this video, you probably know that I'm leaving China. It's been 14 years. I moved here in 2010 and Yvonne and I have decided to move. We are actually going to leave China. We are moving to Portugal. That's probably not a huge surprise for some of you who have been following for a while. We've gone to Portugal a couple of times now. And if you happen to follow Yvonne on her channel, you'll know that uh, she put out some videos talking about why we are leaving and, you know, where we're going. I thought I would talk about this today. I'm not going to talk about the reasons why we're choosing to leave uh, because I want to make a video about that uh, in the future to kind of get into the real reasons why we're leaving. Uh, I just want to talk, I guess, make the announcement that we're leaving and then also talk about what's going to happen with this channel. So we are leaving. We are moving to Portugal. This isn't clickbait like some of the other creators who say they're leaving in every video. Um, if you know the China space, you probably know who I'm referring to. Uh, anyways, there is a lot happening right now and we plan on moving in summer. So around July it will be our last kind of days here in Beijing. There, like I said, is a lot going on. We have to get a moving company. We have to work on paperwork. We have to get the cats ready and we have to pack up all our stuff. So it's going to be busy over the next three months, but we are excited and we are leaving for our own personal reasons. I want to get that out there. Uh, it has very little to do with China. Um, it's just as we've grown older, we have different desires and different things that we want and we can't necessarily or easily get those things in China. So I'll talk about the reasons in a future video. I just want to talk about this channel and what's going to happen. Please don't unsubscribe. I'm sure I'll see a big unsubscribe uh, bunch of people leaving the channel now that I'm announcing that I'm leaving China. It happened on Yvonne's channel. Uh, when she put out her video saying that she was leaving China, uh, we saw a big drop in subscribers. But hopefully you guys will stick around because honestly, if you've been watching me for the last basically two years when I switched over from like travel content to more geopolitical and more kind of, I guess, news based, slightly news based content where I kind of comment on my opinions about China and some of the things about uh, how the United States and China and China and the rest of the world interact with each other, kind of more geopolitics. Uh, most of you have come since I started that content. And if you have come in since I've started that content, you'll realize that most of my videos are actually me just sitting here talking about whatever the topic is. I don't actually do a lot of videos in China, as in I don't go to locations and actually film specific things. I've done a few videos like we went to Shongan or I went down to Shenzhen a while back and went to like the BYD headquarters and stuff like that. But for the most part, my videos are just me sitting here sharing my opinion about something in the news or about a topic that comes up uh, regularly within the China space. So I'm hoping well, not just hoping, I will continue to make these types of videos as long as people are willing to watch them. So, you know, I might lose some of you. You hear I'm leaving, you say, oh, his opinion won't matter anymore. He's not in China. What does he know? But the truth is most of the videos that I see online today are by creators that have never been to China, don't live in China, and quite frankly, have very limited experience around China or with China or with Chinese people or just in general. It's just something that they've read online and they're regurgitating, you know, China's economy's failing or there's homeless people in China everywhere because they heard somebody who's never been in China or who hasn't been in China for a very long time say that. So it doesn't really, there isn't really a prerequisite to be living in China to make videos about China. I am extremely grateful for the time that I've had here in China. My life is much better because of it. 14 years ago when I came here, I was in my early 20s and 
you know, I didn't have much to my name. I was just going out on a whim. I was going to explore the world. And now 14 years later, I'm leaving with a wife, more money in the bank than I came with, and real opportunities for the future. I'm really excited about what's going to happen in Portugal. We have been looking for property. And one of the things that I'm kind of hoping to have when we move there will be an actual studio. If you watch the house tour of this apartment, you will know that it's a one bedroom apartment. We have this upstairs area, which is the open kitchen in this living room where I often film. And then downstairs is a bathroom and a bedroom. So we have very limited space here in this apartment. When we move and buy a house, we will have a lot more space and I will be able to actually set up a proper studio with a proper, you know, cute, professional looking background with maybe some professional lights so that these videos can actually become better. I'm hoping that in the future, this channel will actually grow. There are many people who make videos about China like Cyrus Johnson. So there's a Russian girl named Lena. Um, there's uh, an Asian guy, I think from Singapore named Sean Fu. Uh, I'll put there, I'll put them on the, on the screen, but there are a lot of creators that make content about China or about geopolitics and they don't necessarily live in the countries that they're talking about. And you even have some on the negative side, like Peter Zihan, I think is how you pronounce his last name. Uh, he just walks around the woods and rambles about China's population is collapsing and there'll be no more China in 10 years. Plenty of people make videos about China without living here, without speaking the language, without knowing anything about China. So I think I will be able to make interesting videos in a better location because I'll have an actual studio. And I hope that you guys will continue uh, following and supporting this channel because it does mean a lot to me uh, to know that you guys enjoy hearing what I have to say. I also am hopeful that my message of peace and in a sense, kind of de-escalation. Right now, the world is on the tipping point, it seems. And that, I don't feel, is helping anything. So my message is, sure, not everything is great in China, but not everything great is great in the United States or Russia or, or anywhere else in the world. So let's not make enemies where we don't need to make enemies. The United States and China don't need to be at each other's throats in my opinion. And I hope that that message can get out to more people. And when you guys support the channel, when you guys subscribe, when you share the videos, when you comment, when you like, that really helps me know that people want this message. And this message is important to, I mean, we have almost 100,000 people now that follow this channel. So hopefully in the next year, the rest of this year and going into next year, we can hit that 100K mark. And hopefully, you guys will keep watching these videos and hopefully I can continue to make them. I will continue for as long as people are watching and engaging and finding it valuable. I don't think my opinion on China is going to change dramatically once I move. I am grateful for the time that I've had here and I could stay another 10 or 20 years if I wanted to. I'm not leaving on bad terms, um, but there are things that Yvonne and I want that are more difficult to get here in China versus Portugal, where we're going to move. So let me know what you guys uh, think. Do you think it's a terrible <laughs> decision? Or are you guys excited to see the next chapter of Yvonne and I's life? And, you know, support me and my opinions, uh, even if I'm not going to be in China. Like I said, hopefully I'll have a studio. Hopefully it'll be better lighting and actually a more professional setup to where the videos can reach more people and we can actually grow the channel or continue to grow the channel because we have been growing uh, and I hope to continue to grow. So hopefully you'll keep supporting me and I will talk more about the reasons uh, why we're actually leaving in a future video, probably the next video because I think you guys will be interested in what are the reasons Yvonne and I are, are leaving, especially since I still like China and especially since Yvonne still likes China, um, it might seem strange. Well, why are you giving everything up if you still like the country? Uh, but we do have some reasons uh, 
and I'll talk about that in the next video. I will link it up here once it comes out. But until then, watch whatever video comes up because I'm sure it'll also be interesting. Uh, I'm a little biased because I'm the one who makes the videos. <laughs> All right, I will see you in the next video and uh, hopefully you'll keep supporting me.